Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. I've been a bookkeeper for a long time and one of the popular um, questions that I have is how can I track my sales, uh, my sales staff in QuickBooks Online? And the answer has come recently with, the, with a new feature from QuickBooks Online called Tags. Tags can be used in several ways including tracking your sales staff. Um, the good thing is that it's available on all subscriptions. So even if you have Simple Star or Essential, it is available, you can use that. Um, and it's very simple to use. So without much further ado, we're gonna go to QuickBooks Online and teach you how to do it. All right. Uh, first of all, uh, what you want to do is to create the tags. So how you do it, you click on the gear menu and right here you can click on tags or you can click on all list, either one. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on tags and we're gonna create the groups and you can create different groups. In this case, we're gonna create a tag group called sales rep. Okay, there is a color here too. You can choose whatever color you want for the sales group. I think blue is fine for me. So we're gonna save the group first and then we're gonna add the tags for these groups. So which is the sales rep. So I can name here James, James, Ryan. <laughs> I just made up a name, okay. Uh, we're going to add, let's see, John the man, all J today. <laughs> okay, another one is, uh, let's see, Mike the Great, okay, and Debbie. The queen sales. <laughs> How about that? And Liz, the greatest. <laughs> okay, here's my sales staff. So um, I I have the tag group, and I have all my my tags, which is the sales rep. Okay. So I have another video on tags before. You can use it for different things, but this is, we're just gonna focus today on sales rep. So uh, once you're done, you're gonna go ahead and click okay. And then the way you use it is when you create an invoice, you can use the tag right on the invoice right here. So um, I can select a customer Okay, the rules, maybe 30 days, that's fine. I'll go ahead and create the service that we are providing. And see where it says tag here? This is where I'm gonna find my sales rep. All right, so I can say that this is James. Now, you can only choose one tag per uh, per invoice you can you can choose more than one tag group but only one tag per group if that makes sense to you so I cannot choose more than one sales rep basically that's what I'm saying all right but if you had another tag group that you want to research for instance um, the, the the zone where the sales are coming from so East United States, North United States, and so on and so forth, so that you know where most of your sales are coming from, you can create a new group uh, as well. So, and you can apply the sales rep in the zone where the sales coming from, if you want to tag more than one thing. But once again, we're just gonna focus on creating those tags to track my sales rep. So I just have James Ryan here, and I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Okay, I can go ahead and create a new one. New, oh, I can do a sales receipt as well. And it works the same way. Okay, 
So sales, the difference between sales receipt and um, an invoice is in one of my videos. I can put a, a little link there. Uh, but we're going to choose a different client, same date, different service. Uh, we'll put $500. And the tag is right here. See that? And now Debbie the Queen is the sale, sales, lady on, sales lady on this one. And we'll go ahead and save it. Join the positive funds. Um, now the difference between, I'm going to tell you very quickly, the difference between sale, uh, sales receipt versus invoice is that sales receipt is recorded as a sale right away and we'll go to undeposited funds. Invoice is, is just going to be sent to your clients but they still need to pay that invoice. So the service has been provided but the payment has not been received so that's why you're sending the invoice so that the client can pay. Once they pay, you have to record that payment and send it to undeposit funds. Okay, so we have a couple of them. So now we're gonna click on reports. We're gonna see how it looks. Okay, it's not gonna have a lot of things, but it'll have some. And we can run a profit and loss by tag group. This is the report that you're gonna use for that. Okay, so we're gonna click on year to date and and this is the report that is going to show all the sales by um, by tag uh, by tag. Now, keep in mind we don't have this is just a sample company, so we don't have a lot. We don't have anything going on here, um, so that's why it doesn't show here. But you're gonna you would see columns which uh, with each of the sales representative. So um, that's how tag works. Pretty simple. Um, hopefully this, this is good for you. you. You'll be able to use that to track your sales staff, be able to know who is doing the best, and be able to pay your incentives and your commissions. Um, but anyhow, if you find this video useful, as always, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with what's going on with QuickBooks Online and we'd like to bring to you the best that is out there. Now, we hope to see you again sometime pretty soon and thanks for taking the time to watch us here in the Bookkeeping Experts and until next time, keep on smiling.